Brian Wyndham. Thank you. Um, you. Are you? Do I have this right that you're coached by your caddy, or you're you're caddied by your coach, or however yeah, that works? Yeah, one, one and the same. Yeah, we. Um, you know, I've been kind of solo as far as no, you know, coach out there for a little over a year, about a year and a half. And then my caddy John Ellis is, was a great player, um, and so he he kind of looks at it. So yeah, I mean, we kind of do it together. Um, you know, I've seen a handful of coaches over the years. I kind of know what I'm doing, and now it's more of just maintenance on setup and, and path and stuff like that. And then you alluded to this yesterday, I believe, the mental part of the game. Uh, what, what exactly have you done? You, you mentioned you read some books. Uh, what, what books have you read? And, and who, I, I think you've been seeing a sports psychologist. Is that a true Yeah. Or? You know, I've done I just – I'd say it's one of the parts of my game that <clears> – <throat> You know, I've worked on in the past, but this time I kind of went all in and said, you know what, all right, I was very frustrated with playing good golf but not getting the results, and I said, all right, this is the kind of last straw for me, so I kind of went all in on working on the mental game. Um, you know, as far as books, just any, I mean, one in particular was the Energy Bus, which is all about um, self-talk and positive self-talk and bringing that, what that can do to your life and just uh, perspective. I had a lot of other books that I've read thus far. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, it's just more of making an effort to put in a lot more time on it off the golf course and on the golf course. So, energy the energy bus. It's kind of, it sounds kind of lame, but it's it's actually it's a really good book. What did you learn at all? Do you think from Bermuda a couple of years ago when you were in the hunt? I think Honda when you were in the hunt. Maybe you can use tomorrow. Um, I'd like to think I've had more chances in the hunt than those two. Um, There's you two know, especially this year, I feel like I've had a lot of chances. Um, you know, I'd say then I wasn't as good of a player as I am now. Um, I also think mentally, you know, mentally I was a lot more impatient and uh, fragile, I think, out there. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see how I handle pressure tomorrow. It's going to be a fun challenge. You know, obviously it's going to be tough. I got one of the best players in the world right behind me and a bunch of other good players. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to the challenge tomorrow. What do you, I was just talking with Bo Hostler about how well you're playing right now. What do you think the biggest challenge tomorrow will be? Um, probably just controlling um, the pace of my of my thinking and my thoughts. You know, for me, my challenge is I get just thinking fast. You know, I play fast and I have a fast swing, and that's not necessarily, um, you know, that doesn't necessarily always represent how my mind is. But when my mind is going fast and I have that, um, that can be tough. So if I can just kind of calm my thinking and mentally just be slow and calm inside, that I think will be the, the biggest challenge. Um, on a <clears throat> less serious note, I don't know if you know this, but you were going for 18 for 18 greens and regulation on 18. Were you aware of that at all? No, I mean, no. I, I, mean, I wasn't just, thinking about that. I was more thinking I just hope that ball's on, not yeah, going in the water. Kind of funny that you missed it by like an inch, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... You know, I, I look at stats. I don't. Yeah. The only stat I care about is where I finish at the end of the tournament. So, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 One more, one more. After the first two rounds and knowing that the course was going to get more challenging and more difficult, did you think 63 was out there today? I mean, you'd like to think so, but no. I mean, it's it's such a tough golf course. The you know, there's stretches. There's like, you know, a few holes where it's really tough, and then you are given some birdie holes. But every hole, if you don't hit it in position off the tee, it's it's hard regardless of distance or par five or whatnot so you know I mean Xander and I played amazing um, you know I, for a while I feel like one of us was making a putt on every other hole so it was a fun round I'd love for us to do that again tomorrow that'd be a lot of fun do you think there's any um, truth to the idea of like heat can beget heat like a hot player can make another player hotter and I think so for sure I mean um, I think you know he missed that birdie or par putt on uh, what was it like 13 or something or 12 and then I birdied 13 and I was kind of steady Eddie and um, and then I hit it in there and made about an 8 10 footer on 14 mm. and I think that kind of got him to where he's like all right well I'm now three four back I gotta put you know put the pedal down yeah and so I think that's kind of what happened I think he got a little maybe a little more aggressive and I mean I thought Xander was gonna birdie in so um, it kind of made me think the same thing I was like I got to keep hitting greens and keep making birdies otherwise he's going to catch up so there's an energy influence there for sure i yeah. mean i hope i hope we do the same thing tomorrow because it's a lot of fun right thanks awesome thanks, thanks guys yeah